first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and Barnabas preached the good news in Derby and won some people back to the Lord. Then they went back to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch in Pisidia. They encouraged the followers and begged them to remain faithful. They told them, we have to suffer a lot before we can get into God's kingdom. Paul and Barnabas chose some of those who had faith in the Lord to be leaders for each of the churches. Then they went without eating and prayed that the Lord would take good care of these leaders. Paul and Barnabas went on through Pisidia to Pamphylia, where they preached in the town of Perga. Then they went down to Italia and sailed to Antioch in Syria. It was there that they had been placed in God's care for the work they had now completed. After arriving in Antioch, they called the church together. They told the people what God had helped them do and how he had made it possible for the Gentiles to believe the word of the Lord. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. You are merciful, Lord. You are kind of patient and always loving. You are good to everyone and you take care of all of your creation. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. All creation will thank you and your loyal people will raise you. Then everyone will know about the, the mighty things that you do and the glorious kingdom. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared, and so had the sea. And then I saw New Jerusalem, the holy city, coming down from God's heaven. It was like a bride dressed in her wedding gown and ready to meet her husband. I heard a loud voice from the shout of the throne. God's home is now with the people. He will live with them and they will be his own. Yes, God will make his own people among his people. He will wipe all of his tears from his eyes and he will have no more death, suffering, crying, or pain. These things of the past are gone forever. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Judas had gone, Jesus said, My children, I will be with you for a little while longer. Then you will look for me, but you won't find me. I tell you, just as I told the people, you cannot go where I am going. But I am giving you a new command. You must love each other, just as I have loved you. If you love each other, everyone will know that you are my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. The 
children who attend Tuesday afternoon religious formation session have met a man named Larry. And Larry often brings with him dogs who are in training, puppies behind bars. And he brings them here so they can get used to being around lots of children, lots of people in different places. In fact, sometimes he used to bring them to Mass during the week. So they got used to a whole bunch of people all standing up and sitting down and moving at the same time, which sometimes frightens the dogs. But every time he brings one of those dogs here, I see an awful lot of children gather around so that they can share love with the dog and the dog can share love with them. And almost always I hear someone say, mom or dad, I would love if we could get a dog. And mom and dad usually reply, I would love to get a dog too, but then we have to take care of it. That's the true meaning of love. Some people think love is just a feeling. It makes you feel good inside. And that's true. When you're with someone who loves you and they're helping you, you feel beautiful. You feel great. You feel uplifted. You feel all filled with hope and joy and love. But let's go back to the analogy, the story of the dog. If you want to have a dog, that means you have to love it enough to take care of it, to feed it, to take it for a walk, to clean up after it. When you make your plans, you have to keep the dog in mind. Who's going to watch the dog? Who's going to take care of the dog while we're gone? And so when we love, love means work in a good way. It means we have to make space time for that person or that animal we love. It's not just a feeling. It's living for that other person or for that pet. No wonder, as we heard in the gospel today, it was after Judas left, after he left the table at the Last Supper. Jesus showed them what love was all about. He had just washed their feet. He had just given them bread and wine and told them that was going to be his way of being present to them in his body and blood, which some of you received for the first time in Holy Communion this year. Some will receive it next year. Jesus showed us, not only taught us, but showed us by all of his words and deeds what love is all about. If we're not loving the way Jesus loved, well, then we have some work to do. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, God substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who, with the Father and the Son, is adorned and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Knowing that God will hear our prayer, let us pray in confidence for all that we need. When I say we pray, you say, Lord, hear our prayer. May the day quickly come when all believers are united in praise of the one true God. May everyone seek to understand those who are different from themselves. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May everyone as a person be treated with respect and dignity 
as a beloved child of God. May all the military and missions and their loved ones be safe and secure. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the faith and the joy of believers attract unbelievers into God's loving arms and his church. May our parish be blessed and increased in priests, deacons, brothers, and sisters. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those on the verge of giving up find strength, and those filled with doubt be filled with faith, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. If you have people that you would like to pray for, please do that now. For those intentions and those listed in our parish prayer book, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we know you hear us and answer us whenever we call upon you. With the help of yours, Holy Spirit, may we pray and answer you too whenever you call upon us. Through God, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.